I'm so happy to see you. So, so super happy. I could hear your taxi pull up at least 25 miles away, so I knew you were on the approach. But still, I couldn't wait to leap out and snatch you into a super tight wing hug. Of course, being the super speedy bat I am, I was at the door from the fifth floor deck in about three seconds flat. There was no way I was going to make you wait after making you travel all the way up here just because I wanted to hang out. Well, of course, you know not to, like, literally hang out. That's more of a thing for us bats. But there's plenty you humans can do that we bat folk can't. For example, I know a certain human girl who looks more pretty than any bat in the world this evening. Come in, come in. You're going to freeze to death if you stay out there any longer. It's been snowing all week and it even dropped to negative double figures last Thursday. I had my head buried in a particularly interesting book about the rings of Saturn, written by a very smart Lamia professor, so I didn't even notice the snowfall until the poor cleaner came in from gathering the mail, and she was covered from head to toe in the stuff. She didn't mind, of course, being a yeti and all, and I can't really expect much else having my observatory this high in the mountains. But still, summer is certainly long gone. Can I offer you a hot drink, my wingless wonder? I was just putting on a pot of hot coffee, but I have some cocoa too if you want something a little sweeter. I wouldn't want your teeth to start chattering under my watch. They might even be able to keep up with the beats of my wings if we don't get something warm into you. So tell me, tell me, how have you been? Have you finished your study into carnivorous plants and their variations in differing climates? It took you to like 17 different lands all over the world, didn't it? I saw it published on the Academic Botany Network and have read it through like 100 times already. It was fascinating stuff. I'm so proud of you. I knew it would be a total success, but you blew everyone out of the water. It's been getting rave reviews all over. I can't believe some of the stories, though. Your adventures sound so reckless. I mean, you were captured by a tribe of native satyr women, for goodness sake. What if you had never come back to me? Do you know how sad I would have been? What did you ever manage to do to a tribe of wild satyr women, anyway? They... They thought you were their goddess? You were the goddess of an entire tribe for two weeks. Honestly, I'm not surprised. You've always been a great leader, taking charge and kicking butt all over the shop. I doubt any rival tribes picked a fight with you at the head, even if it only lasted for a fortnight. How did you escape? Was it daring? Cunning? Challenging and intense? You promised to visit them once a year during the autumn? Aw, look at you being the benevolent little queenie, huh? Though I can tell you they don't miss you half as much as you were missed back home. You've always been a hit around here, and I couldn't wait for you to set sail back to us. Or rather, back to little old me. How have I been? <laughs> Never a quiet moment. It's been a busy eight months. Lots of data collecting, map plotting, and paper scribbling. I've hardly had any time to step out of the observatory. But it's been refreshing. Everything's kicked into overdrive, and I've been along for the ride. Just last week, I finished my thesis on the history of the nebula. I'm awaiting peer review from the Board of Astrology, but after that I should be set to publish. Speaking of which... I might have an itsy-bitsy favor to ask of you. Do you, or rather, would you, be interested in joining me in traveling to the Metropolis for the publication party? Don't feel forced if you don't want to. It's just I'm a little, uh, okay, a lot nervous, and I can always turn to you in a crisis. And plus, I really, really want you to come with me for a holiday. 
I've just gotten you back, after all. You will? Oh, absolutely splendid. It'll be so much fun. I promise I'll take you out to dinner every night. We'll sightsee, we'll hike, we'll visit the theater, the cinema, anything and everything. We'll take it for a spin. Come with me. I want to show you something wonderful. I would normally fly up, but let's take the stairs this time around. I don't mind if it's with you as company, after all. I'd rather take my time with you around. Awesome, isn't it? The clearest telescope I've ever put together. Can see all the way to Pluto and back if you squint hard enough. Go on, take a look. See, there's Orion's belt. Over there's the Big Dipper. That's Ursa Major and Ursa Minor. And Lyra just over there. And right there, the best of all, is a cutie pie. No, silly, that's not a constellation. That's you.